Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and uh, this is my Dodge Caravan. This is 2010, I think. And um, the window, one of the window switches is not going up and down so well. So I just bought a new one. We'll see if we can replace it. Should be interesting. Sometimes I like to roll down the windows instead of run the air conditioning when it gets hot. And uh, it's, the switch is not rolling it up sometimes. <coughs> so we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here is our Dodge Caravan, and it is this window over here, the switch right here. See, it can roll down the window, but it's not always working too well. So I have to kind of push it just right in order for it to roll up. And I'm worried it's going to stop working one of these days, and I will not be able to see. There we go. See, it's not rolling the window up. Depends on how you get the switch. So let me take a look here. I bought this guy here. Oops. Here, let's see. Here's a new switch. It looks like it will fit in the same spot as the old switch. And um, I know, it came with this tool also. Let's let's turn this guy off. So I'm going to assume you can just use this tool to pop it out because I was trying to figure out how to take the door apart and it looks like I couldn't really figure out how to do that. It looks like once you uh, get it up a little bit, look at that. This, this tool, handy dandy tool. Looks like uh, you can pull this whole switch out. Wow, look at that. There's not a lot of play on this though. Okay, so there's two plugs, and uh, looks like you can depress, there's like a little, I think you can depress to pull it out. Looks like you push that in, and you can, should be able to pull these plugs out, like so. Come on. Sometimes it's hard to press it in with one hand. See if we can get a little bit of light on that situation. So there's a little latch you can depress to release it. And it looks like there is one on this one, too. So we'll see if we can unplug these guys. Okay. Okay, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get these things out, but remember you want to depress this latch in the back. Oh, come on, locking the doors. And then sometimes it helps if you get a little screwdriver and kind of pry it up like that. Look at that. These things are hard to pull out. Okay. So I remember to press that latch on the back there to unlatch it. And uh, I think I did this one too. Kind of got to pry it up. And uh, let's see if we get a screwdriver in there to help. I might need to use two hands to get that one out. Get the second plug out. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I was able to. You press this latch on the back here, like so. Oops. Ah, and the switch came out. Okay, so there we go. There's the old switch. Looks like on the top and the bottom. And here is the new switch. Now remember, you never want to, when you're pulling these plugs out, you never want to pull on the wires. You can pull the wires right out of the plug, and then you're going to be in a world of trouble. You always want to pull on the plug, just like when you're unplugging something from the extension cord in the house or something. Okay. And also you want to press on the plug. So let's see, we got the plug, two plugs here. Take a look. And so we'll plug both of those into these guys here. Like so. Get the bottom one in. Latches and the top one, like so. Okay, and there we go. And you can feel they both latched in place. Let's just make sure we want to turn the car on. Make sure this this thing still works now that we fiddle with it. Okay, here's our key. We'll 
turn the guy on. I'll test out all the buttons on this. Okay, it unlocks. Hmm, it's not locking. Oh. Okay, these windows seem to be working. Okay, I guess the mirror's working. Okay, try the other one. Okay, looks like the mirrors are working. Uh, but this unlock button is not working, that's no good. Let me try to unplug the plugs and plug them back in and see if that fixes the problem. Otherwise I'm going to have to send this plug back or something. Anyway, I guess when you're done with this, you're just going to pop it back into place here. And you'll be all done. But yeah, this plug is not unlocking or locking like it's supposed to. I figured out what the problem was. I didn't have the door all the way shut, and something in the safety locks won't let you lock the door if the door's not all the way shut. So there we go. There we go. See on that one, the button pops up, button goes down, up, down. Okay, so it looks like our switch is completely working. That window, the mirrors, both sides. Very cool. So in order to finish the job, we'll just push the switch back in, and we are done. Excellent. Okay, anyway. Hopefully this helps you out. This is uh, Dr. Chains, and thanks for watching.